Hello everybody, welcome to Aquamarine's YouTube channel. I'm Brandon and I'll be bringing you through today about trace elements and why is it so important for your tank. So today we'll be talking about Aqua Forest and Red Sea trace elements and we'll be comparing the two brands. Lastly, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on which brand to use. So stay tuned to the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get started. So Aqua Forest has these six major trace elements to be those inside the aquarium. Trace elements are so important because they actually help your corals to provide them with enough color, provide them with essential minerals and nutrients for their growth. Lastly, they also help your fishes to have all these essential minerals in their body as well. So take it as us humans drinking H2O to replenish the electrolytes and everything in our body. They are as essential to their health as like what electrolytes are to our health. So they are very important in your marine aquarium and many many people miss that out. So without further ado, let's begin with Aqua Forest Trace Elements. Aqua Forest has these six major dosing of your trace elements. All these are manual dose. So firstly, we have Kalium. So Kalium is very good for your pink and red color enhancement in your SPS corals. So they provide your red tenuins or maybe your red stack horn with brighter red dish, more reddish colors. And overall, it also helps with your LPS also if you have some acorns or maybe some blasto. They provide them with some essential uh, minerals for them to turn red. So Kalium is actually one of my favorite trace elements because as you can see the results really quickly. About two to three weeks, after using it. Next, we'll be talking about Shongtium. So it's a supplement for skeletal strength and building. It's one of the essential components for your corals to grow faster and more colorful and to produce the polyp extension. So Shongtium is a very important element to help with that. Shongtium is one of the more highly regarded wow. trace elements out there in the market. So this is definitely a very good addition to your tank itself. Next, we'll be talking about Iodium. For iodium, they're actually more commonly known as iodine or iodide that can be used in your aquarium. So it comes in many forms. I like the way Aqua Forest made this so concentrated and so easy to use. So iodium is very important for your blue and purple color enhancement in your tank. So this is definitely one of the most important trace elements for you to start up with. Next, we have uh, Aqua Forest Iron. Aqua Forest Iron is very important for the green color enhancement in your corals. So you're going to be talking about some very common colors. For example, your Candy Cane LPS. SPS, you can go with your Bali Slimer, your Green DG, your Radioactive Bird Nest also. And of course, it also helps with your soft corals, all the polyps for it to come out as well. So Iron is definitely one of the most essential components in your tank. Oh yes, a uh, bonus fact. Iron actually helps in improving the health of your keto. You know why sometimes your keto always die? Most of the time, I found out that it's actually the lack of iron in your aquarium because they absorb iron really quickly. Next, I want to talk about fluorine, aqua forest fluorine in your aquarium. So it's good for your blue and white color enhancement in your corals. And these are one of the more difficult and tougher to reach colors in your aquarium. For example, your blue tenuis. Some of your Australian SPS, they exhibit a lot of blue colors and this is so important in your aquarium. Lastly, we have your Aqua Forest Micro E. So Aqua Forest Micro E contains all your very small minute trace elements but they are still very essential for your aquarium itself. So later I'll be giving a, a walkthrough of some of the Micro E, some of the elements there are and we'll be talking more in depth about them later on so stay tuned. Aqua Forest Micro E contains all your micro elements itself. Very important for your coral building. And with this method, Aqua Forest, the way they design their products, is actually known as the Moonshiner method itself. So we'll be going through more on that. But Moonshiner method is essentially a method that discourages the water change portion and actually adds all these trace elements into your aquarium to boost and supplement uh, everything that your coral intakes. For example, if your coral intake a lot of iron, by just simply adding iron in the aquarium at the correct dosage, your tank would not need to require water chain. Alright, now moving on to Red Sea, one of the biggest brands out there for your trace elements. 
So firstly, uh, Red Sea has this A, B, C, D trace elements for easy dosage. They encourage the use of dosing pumps into your, to pump them at the rate into your aquarium itself. So without further ado, let's begin. So a uh, Red Sea Iodine actually contains iodine, bromine and fluorine complex which promotes the pink colour in your corals. So it, they actually have a blend of your trace elements unlike the upper corals that I mentioned earlier. Everything into this um, dosing components here to be dosed in the aquarium itself. Next, you have your trace element B, Potassium Plus. So it actually promotes all the red colours in the corals. It contains potassium and boron complex. It's a very simple dosing system. Follow the method that it lists out and it can be simply dosed in your aquarium using a dosing pump according to the dosage required. And thirdly, we have iron. So trace colour C, iron. Of course, it helps with the green colour in your corals. So mainly it also targets all your usual barley slimers your radioactive bird's nest and lastly we have trace elements D itself bioactive elements it contains all the small and minute elements that I mentioned earlier in uh, aqua forest as well but they come in a huge bottle of liquid form to be those inside your aquarium as well so with all these four it covers all your trace elements that raise to your tank itself now we'll be going through aqua forest ICP so without further ado let's go have a look so this is the Aquaforest ICP that I was talking about earlier. So do this test frequently before you start with your trace element dosage. So what is Aquaforest ICP? So this test itself is actually where you bring your water sample to us and we will send it directly to Poland for you. So it will provide you a full detailed analysis of your water sample itself which I will put it right over here. Have a look at it and before you start with your trace element to make sure there's not too much of a single element so that you can purchase actually all the other elements first before you start with your dosage so basically it's very easy for my singaporean customers so how do you pass your icp test to us simply register an account with aqua forest first and bring your water sample from home purchase an aqua forest icp1 test with us put your tank sample into the bottle given and just pass to any of our sales team so we will send your bottle to aqua forest itself and that's all that's it we will email you once your test samples are out <coughs> all right moving on just a bonus section itself uh, like what i mentioned earlier micro e contains many small minute trace elements in your tank they are very small but are also necessary in your aquarium so how you find if they are you are lacking any of it is definitely through your icp testing itself and if you, are, if you just want to replenish just a little bit, just one portion, one element of it, you actually can purchase any of these small elements and use it in your aquarium individually instead of purchasing one big bottle itself. So like for example, we have bromium, lithium, vanadium, zincum, barium, ferrum, cobaltum, molybdenum, chromium and nicolum. And also your bromium. These are your minor elements. If you are lacking any of these, just simply walk in and just purchase it off the shelf. We have all these ready stock available. So these are Aqua for 3-in-1 components that will actually solve the negative side of this trace element itself. So why get this? It's a one-in-all product that actually contains all the minor trace elements and all the major elements in your tank. So namely, your KH, your calcium, your magnesium, and of course, all your minor trace elements that I spoke about here, all in one singular liquid right here to be dosed inside your aquarium. So generally, if you are very busy overseas, you just want a simple method to do all your dosing for all your coral minerals and nutrients itself. This is actually a very good substitute to all these trace elements products. And this is one of the products that I will actually recommend to you guys. However, like every single product, there's a con for this too. Of course, like what I mentioned, it's a very good product. It contains everything. And the bad part is that it also contains everything. So if you only want to add, let's say, iron in your aquarium, and you increase the dosage, it will actually replenish every single element in your tank itself. Use sparingly, use wisely, and of course, uh, do ICP testing for your tank every as and when. Thank you guys so much for watching. So let me know what you think below in the comments itself. 
what you think about any of the equipment itself and maybe you guys know something that I do not know. So don't forget to comment and remember to hit the subscribe button and like this video. And if you commented anything below, just for my Singaporean customers, come to me and look for me. I'll give you a special deal. Thank you, bye!